Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Traffic Department 2192 Episode 2 Mission 20 The Finale Alright, so again the Vulture Command Institute has been destroyed and most of the higher the higher staff as well. I wonder what General Creel will say about will do about all of this. Let's find out. Soul survivors. Captain Toll's office the next day. Hmm. They're being consistent with that. Why is this? I wonder why it's not com Commander Valeskis's office. Over 100 civilians, half of them children, were killed when a TD bomb ripped through a daycare facility in South Volticott's VCI this afternoon. Access to the VCI has been restricted until security teams analyzed the bomb debris and assessed the magnitude of the damage. Daycare facility, my ass. Sources at VoltNet will not com comment on the tragic loss of life. They do insist that the facility will be operational within six weeks. Not damn likely, you stupid reporter. Security Administrator Craven called, to in called the incident a tragedy and major political setback. So far, there has been no retaliation from the unprovoked bombing. However, contacts within the Vulture Security Alliance guarantee that the military is readying its forces for an assault on the terrorist headquarters. Let them come. Maybe we should c c consider evacuation. Is the iron screen operational yet? Yes. Then stop shivering. We've got nothing to worry about. What the hell? No, not this again. Officer of General Creel aboard the War Cruise Scavenger in orbit. Oh, he's probably gone nuclear now. I have given orders that I am not to be disturbed. I thought you'd like to know that the shuttle Velga has been arrived with your granddaughter aboard. While not being treated for minor abrasions, but at least she's alive. But thanks to that cyborg. Because of her, I have to explain to my granddaughter why her mother is dead. I want Velasquez and her kind blasted from existence. Director Craven requests Squadron of Fortune 3 to re-establish order in Valdegard. I might also suggest a... As of now, there is no Valdegard. Listen to my very... Listen to me very carefully, Kofia. My daughter's death cannot be avenged with the destruction of one cyborg for one traffic department. The entire world must suffer. Such is the penalty for defiance. What is your order? You will flood the plant's atmosphere and en envelop. What? You will flood the plant's atmosphere as atmospheric envelope with eulonium, <laughs> then ignite the eulonium with ionized vorazine. That would obliterate all life on the planet. The global atmosphere would eventually replenish itself once the vorazine dissipates. Hardly an end to all things. You would deliberately defy the Overlord's command. The Overlord is weak. Even now, General Talon and others like him threaten to overthrow our aging leader. I will not let a feeble old man on the verge of losing his power dictate how I govern my sector. Execute my orders, Commander, before I execute you. Captain Toll's office, 25 Radians later. I expected better treatment from you, Velasquez. After everything I risked to bring Ian here. You risked nothing, and you didn't come here for Ian's benefit either. Your keen cyborg optics see right through me, Velasquez. Nevertheless, as I am decidedly claustrophobic, I ask to be released. Well, we could always use the extra cell, 
Or maybe we should just vape you right here and now. For the boy's sake, I voted we ignore that suggestion. But remember who saved your son, Officer Velasquez. I only ask for safe passage outside of the city. You expect me to grant you safe passage because you saved my son's life? Welcome to the world of reality, Director. In case you've forgotten, my job is to stamp out the shitheads like you. Your gratitude is heartwarming, Velasquez. I'm sure all Setian parents are, make such charming role models. I don't need this shit, Hyde. Why I do... When I need something, I'll put you through interrogation. When Krill finds out what you've done, we're all as good as dead. If I may be so bold, I recommend that we get out while the getting is good. Krill can destroy you, me, your son, and everything from here to the vault of the far before the evening news, and still find time for dinner. And naturally you think you can change all that if I let you live. Better start reciting your prayers, Director. Did I forget to mention I have a ship waiting? Screwdriver's bar and officer's lounge. That evening. I thought the Vultures destroyed all Setian mining shuttles. I thought so too. Hyde could be full of shit. I thought you would have him shot by now. Why the sudden restraint? That mining shuttle holds damn near 20 people, plus cargo. I have a feeling we screwed up if we stay here much longer. We're screwed if we stay here much longer. I heard Vectorbot has severed all equipment transport to Vault the Guard. The Vorne is a real bastard. I'd like to stick an atom pulverizer up his ass and blow his molecules to the moon. Well, that would be quite a sight. Anyway, I've got nearly a 30 officers left on the flight roster. About a dozen functional skid, a dumpshit dispatcher who thinks he's God's gift to the universe, and a pile of rundown hardware. But no room for a robot bartender. I'm taking Bob. I'll need your security programs to interfere with Vulture's security net. Very wise. It's not like I'm expecting an overabundance of dirty clients in the near future anyway. We have to shut down the whole complex. A few monoton bombs rigged to the secondary reactor should do it. The Vultures won't recover anything but ionized scrap metal. That's the idea. Well, can I get you one last drink? Another liquid lubricant, perhaps? Better make it a Solarian sand trip to go. Goodbye, screwdriver. Alright, I'm sure that this last convoy leaves. Alright. Get over here. You're determined on making this thing stick. Leave the city to the north. All right. Mission successful! Yay! Setian Spice Mining Station, Dardra 7, after mission. Is anyone trying to start this flying shitbox? I assure you, Velasquez, the shuttle will fly. 
It's not beautiful, but it works just fine. We do do, do have a p problem, though. Spell it. The, the sh ship won't c c carry this many people. Unless we sacrifice a vehicle or two, I'm afraid at least ten of your personnel will have to stay behind. Blam. <laughs> well, I saw that coming. <laughs> Since Hyde isn't with us anymore, I may as well make some more cutbacks to free up space in that shuttle. I want Noise and Killigan and the Barian, Bedarian kicked off, and dump some of the technical support staff. If they resist, have security shoot them. Y yes, sir. Your wish is my command. As for you, you shivering soup can. What? You're staying with me. Thank goodness. Weaponry bridge or the war cruiser scavenger in orbit. Well, that usually means something is getting shot. The planetary atmosphere has been flooded with Eulonian, Commander. Status of Forazine torpedoes. Forazine torpedoes are ready to fire, Colonel. Fire! Seconds later, the atmosphere on set burns violently, before all life is exterminated from the world. However, the tiny TD shuttlecraft escapes. That's bright. Weaponry bridge, walk with a scavenger, in orbit still. Colonel, short range sensors have detected the Satian mining shuttle moving through the planet's upper gravity band. Heading where? The vessel is headed towards Kolor Command, one of the moons. Scan inside. Negative, Commander. Vorazine distortions are impairing our sk sk ship's scanning field. Relay a coded transmission to all Kolarian bases. Inform them of the shuttle's arrival. Continued. And that's the end of episode 2. Such has been, well, rendered lifeless. Quite a dramatic end with a light, slightly anticlimactic mission. But, hey! Now we have to take the fight back to the Vultures on the Nuclearian Rune, apparently. be interested to see how that goes, but we'll have to find that out in the next episode. Thank you for watching, see you next